Hello and welcome back to the series on Spacey 3.0 and named entity recognition, all in Python. In the last video, I walked you through the steps on how to create this config.cfg file by taking the base config.cfg file that we got off of the Spacey website and using some command line uh, terminal commands to actually change it from the base underscore config into the config.cfg. And what we did in an earlier video that we're going to start using now in this video is we created training data that wasn't great, but it was good enough to demonstrate um, kind of methodology and workflow for this series. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the config file and we're going to have it run over the training data that we're going to call in the config file. And we're going to create a spacey model from scratch using that training data. This is the big difference with spacey 3.0 from spacey 2.0 is that you have to interact with things a little bit differently in the training process. You're going to be at interacting with things in the terminal and in windows, that's going to be command prompt. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal right here. I've already got mine loaded. Uh, if you're using windows, it's command prompt. If you're using Mac, or Linux is going to be something a little bit different, but you have to always interact with Spacey 3 training in the terminal for right now, at least. The first thing that you need to do once you get into the terminal is you need to get into the directory in which you have the config file. So I've got that pulled up right here and we see the config file right there. Now, Linux and Mac are going to get into the directory a little bit differently. I'm going to be working on Windows, so I'm going to use the command CD change directory. And what I can do now is I can go into my Explorer. And I got a little bit of gray space over here next to um, next to the directory. If I click that, I can highlight everything and I can control copy, control C, all of that directory and control P and get into the directory just like that. Once I'm in the directory, this is very important because when you're working in the terminal, if you're in the directory, the files that you're going to call are going to be expected to be in that directory. And if you need to get to a subfile, you have to use a subfolder. So it's always easier to just get into the, the base root directory of whatever script that you're running. So what we need to do now is we need to interact with this terminal. Now, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and tell Spacey to load up that config file and output, use the training data that we've got stored in that config file and output a model into the output directory. So the way in which we're going to do that is I'm going to provide a link in the description down below to a blog, which has all the code ready for you, is we're going to execute a few, a one basic command in the command prompt. We're going to say Python dash M. Again, this is me working on Windows spacey, which is going to call up the spacey module. And it's got a list of commands that we can run. We're going to run the train command. And these spaces are very important, as are what I'm about to do, double dashes. Double dashes, a good way to think about them is as a keyword argument, something that you can pass into the, to the command that's going to give it a little extra detail on what to do. We're going to call the output keyword argument, and we're going to have just one space. And this is going to tell it where to output the model. We're going to output it to output, and we're going to hit enter and it's going to actually execute. And I got an error because I forgot to type in uh, what I needed to actually config. So we're going to say Python M spacey. We're going to type that in again, train. I skipped one argument here that is necessary, and that's the config file, config.cfg. Next, we're going to do space output just like before. And so what's happening here is I was in the wrong environment. So now spacey has loaded up the, uh, the config file and it's loaded in the training data from that config file, which we saw being created in an earlier video. And what you're seeing now is the actual training process taking place. What's happening here is Spacey is going through several different epochs to learn the different labels, and it's going to be posting some of the metrics, notably the precision, the recall, and the F score, which is a balance between both the precision and the recall. I've got a bunch of videos on this channel talking about the difference the differences between these metrics and why you want to use some over others. But I'm going to go ahead and come back to this video after the training is done, and then you'll see what the model kind of looks like in the actual folder. In the next video, what we're going to be focusing on is we're going to focus on how to actually test these models now that we have it. Once your training process is complete, you can go back into your Jupyter Notebook, and you'll notice that we now have our models under the output directory. We have the model best, the model last, and we have different models as well that I'm planning on using for different things. So what we can do with these models is now we can actually load them just like you would any other model. 
and you can actually start seeing that they actually have the NER component, the toke to vet component on down the list. What we're going to do in the next, next video is we're going to load in these models and we're going to start testing them out. That's going to be it for this video, though. If you've liked it, please like and subscribe down below. And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you get a lot from this channel, please do consider supporting it via Patreon.